Parsec is the fastest, smoothest, and most responsive way to access a computer from anywhere. And that's why Parsec for Teams has become the go-to remote access tool for game developers, 3D graphic artists, designers, video editors, and more. Parsec for Teams makes it easier than ever for organizations to support their staff working from home by giving them a low-bandwidth, high-performance, ultra-HD remote desktop solution. It also comes with everything an admin needs to manage accounts, control permissions, and centralize command across your entire remote organization. To get started, you'll need to create a Parsec for Teams account for your organization. Head over to teams.parsec.app and register your company's info. As soon as the payment method is approved, you'll receive an email welcoming you to Parsec for Teams. This email also contains some information to help you get started with your Teams account, such as how to install the client silently on Office workstations using the command line. Let's take a look at some of the features you can take advantage of once you're working with Parsec for Teams. Parsec for Teams can be managed and controlled within the admin panel at teams.parsec.app. From here, you can manage members and groups, set permissions, manage security settings, guest access, and more. Before your teammates can get started, they'll need to be invited into your team. Select Invite Team Members and add the email addresses of any team member you wish to invite into your team. Anyone without a Parsec account will be prompted to create one. Each pending invitation will reserve a seat on your team and be counted toward your total seat count. All teams have a minimum of five seats. You can add more at any time. Once an account has been added to a team, that account can then only connect with other users and workstations associated with your organization. So it's worth making sure team members are signed up with your organization's credentials and not their personal email account so that your team will be able to safely collaborate with one another without having to worry about the security of your organization's projects or data. Parsec for Teams gives you the control to break your organization up into groups of users around a common discipline or project and allows you to manage access and connection permissions between them. A group can be created using the New Group button. Here, you can assign the group a name. You can also choose to remove the ability for users within the group to connect to each other. This can be useful if you're inviting external people into your organization for work or an event and don't want them to be requesting access to one another's machines. You can also allow different groups to initiate connections between each other. The Incoming tab defines which group this group can accept connection requests from, and the Outgoing tab defines which groups this group can send connection requests to. Let's say we want producers to be able to send connection requests to the artists. We'll add them to the Incoming tab of the Artists group. Once our changes are confirmed, Parsec for Teams will then automatically add the Artists group to the Outgoing tab of our Producer group. Team members can be assigned to a group using the group drop-down in the user list. Team members can only belong to one group at a time. Some additional controls for each team member can be found by clicking the Options button next to their account name. You can add or edit tags for team members, remove any admin permissions on their accounts, or remove them from your Parsec for Teams account entirely. If you want to edit an existing group, simply select the group and then click the pencil icon to open the group settings window. Here you can change the name and permissions of a group, as well as delete the group. Once deleted, team members are placed into the unassigned category. If you wish to remove them from your organization, you will need to do so manually. We know that security matters for you and your team. That's why Parsec for Teams includes a number of features that help keep your connections secure and your organization's information protected. Owners of a team can enable SAML in their Parsec for Teams account, which will then allow them to manage access through an existing identity provider, like Okta or Azure. Once SAML is enabled, team members will only be able to log in through their existing provider. When it comes to using Parsec on your network, we support various configurations. If your organization's firewall allows for UDP hole punching, Parsec will work without any additional configuration. 
Additionally, Parsec API calls can be configured to work with your web proxy if you'd like to put a proxy between a workstation and the Parsec servers. It's also worth mentioning that Parsec also supports connectivity via a virtual private network. Some additional features included with Parsec for Teams can be found in the App Configuration menu. You can choose to toggle certain consumer Parsec features on or off, such as the Arcade menu and the Friends panel. You can also choose to watermark streams from any workstation in your team. This will display the watermarked text on top of the stream in the bottom left corner. Similarly, if you want to force the users within your network to stream using Parsec for Teams exclusively, you can enable the Use Team WebSocket option. This will block all traffic from non-team accounts on your network. One of the most useful features of Parsec for Teams is the ability to invite guests to your organization and machines. This is perfect for giving access to freelancers, deploying playtests for user research, or even delivering a preview demo to members of the press. You can invite guests to access your team via the Guest Access page on the Parsec for Teams admin dashboard and choose Invite Guests. You will need to purchase guest credits in order to see this. Here, you can schedule a time window of up to five days where the guest will be able to connect to a dedicated machine in your organization. You can also select which peripherals the guest is allowed to use while connected. You can then customize your email invite with an event title and message. Each invite link is secure and can only be used exclusively by the recipient when it activates. They'll also receive a reminder 15 minutes before the invite link activates. The guest will receive access to a computer on the account the invite was sent from, so the user sending the invite will need to remain logged into Parsec and will also need to have access to the machine intended for the guest to use. Additional team members can be assigned guest coordination permissions through the Groups and Members page of the admin dashboard. Guest coordinators will be able to view the guest access page see the current guest credit balance, and manage and schedule invites. If you would like to invite a guest to use a machine, but would like to restrict or limit access to specific applications on the host machine, you can do so inside of the Parsec app. By enabling the guest feature in the settings menu, you can designate the apps you'd like to make available and make sure that any sensitive material is kept out of reach. Parsec for Teams makes it easy for organizations to work together remotely, safely, and efficiently, thanks to advanced team management features, security options, and low bandwidth, high quality performance. If you'd like to learn more and try out Parsec for Teams, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.